Assassin's Creed 3, available for pre-order now. Hello and welcome to the 12th episode of the Weapons of Assassin's Creed series. I'm Esco Blades. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Sawtooth Sword. The Sawtooth Sword is one of the new weapons that will be introduced and usable in Assassin's Creed 3. Players can obtain the weapon upon completion of the Lost Mayan Ruins memory in-game. The Lost Mayan Ruins is an exclusive memory in Assassin's Creed 3 and only available to those who pre-order the Freedom Edition of the game or at GameStop. As such, the Sawtooth Sword falls in the same category as Vlad the Impaler's Blade, in that it will be a special item that not all players will have access to. It is safe to assume that as a result of the exclusivity, the sword will possess the same characteristics that Vlad's Blade displays, possibly decreasing enemy confidence and making some guards flee during battle. The Sawtooth Sword is described by Ubisoft as once belonging to the pirate of legend, Captain Kidd. Now, William Kidd lived during the golden age of piracy from roughly 1650 to 1730. He was both a privateer and a pirate. This distinction was an important one and one that would eventually end Kidd's life. As a privateer working for the British, Kidd was permitted to raid ships belonging to certain companies and particular countries. By the late 16th century, he was hailed as one of the best privateers in the world. His mistake came when sailing in the Red Sea, where he captured the Quedar Merchant, an Armenian-owned ship with multinational backers, including the British East Indies. By stealing her, Kidd became a pirate. As with most of the weapons portrayed in the franchise, the Sawtooth Sword draws on inspiration from a variety of sources, the first of which is the Cutlass. The Cutlass was a common naval weapon featuring a short broad saber with a straight or slightly curved blade sharpened on the cutting edge and a hilt often featuring a solid cupped or basket shaped guard. The Cutlass is best known as a sailor's weapon of choice, a naval sidearm its popularity was likely due to the fact that it was not only robust enough to hack through heavy ropes, canvas and wood, but short enough to use in relatively close quarters, such as during boarding actions, in the rigging or below decks. Cutlasses are also famous for being used by pirates, a point well documented in contemporary sources, notably by the pirate crews of William Fly, William Kidd himself and Stead Bonnet. Sources say that the pirates use these weapons for intimidation as much as for combat, often needing no more than to grip their hilts to induce a crew to surrender or beating captives with the flat of the blade to force their compliance or responsiveness to interrogation. However, the design of the Sawtooth Sword displays other characteristics which point to a secondary source of inspiration, the gold inlay crucifix hilt with embellished motifs and the crown placed on the pommel closely resembled the hunting swords and daggers common in Europe long before cutlasses were in fashion. A hunting sword is a type of single-handed short sword that dates back to the 12th century, but was mainly used by hunting parties among Europeans from the 17th to the 19th centuries. A hunting sword usually has a straight, single-edged, pointed blade typically no more than 25 inches long. Adopted by many Europeans and sometimes even worn by military officers as a badge of rank, hunting swords display amazing variety in design. Some hilts featured a thin knuckle bow to protect the fingers, much like the cutlass's design. Others had small matchlock pistols built into the hilt with deep firing grooves cut into the fuller of the blade. And some hunting swords sported a serrated saw edge on the back of the blade, just like the sawtooth sword presented in Assassin's Creed 3. And this concludes our look at the Sawtooth Sword within Assassin's Creed. As always, a big thank you to Dnuke from the Art of Swords blog and Sixtini, the com dev of the Assassin's Creed wiki, for their guidance, help and collaboration on this project. Additional source material comes from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the My Armory website. All relevant links are shown on the screen and in the video description. Thank you for watching as always, take care and bye for now.